Hey, welcome to another episode of The Reaction News. This is episode 15, and I am your host as always, Tristan Jerkovich. So it was kind of another slow burn for news, but there's a couple interesting things to discuss. And mostly at the end, I'm going to talk about what I'm currently playing, want to play, and what's down the pipeline for other games for reviews and whatnot. So let's get started. First, how about some people news? Ray Mizuka and Greg Zuschek, otherwise known as the Bioware Doctors. Yes, Bioware, the company that made such hits as Knights of the Old Republic and Mass Effect, are leaving the game industry for good. But you know, they may come crawling back, but those two are geniuses who made a lot of great games. It'll be a sad day to see a Bioware game without their name on it. In other news, Cliff Bazinski head of Epic Games, who's been in the industry for over 20 years since he was a teenager for such hits as Unreal Games and also the Gears of War games. He's also leaving the game industry for other pursuits. Who knows? Maybe he'll come back again. Who knows? Maybe he'll just join his own website or something like that. I don't know. And in the last bit of people news, Notch, the guy that you know behind the Minecraft series, has released some footage for his new game, which I have no idea how to say. Uh, zero times 10 C? I think there's an actual name for it, but uh, that's how it's written out. Anyway, he showed some footage. It kind of looks, I don't know, so so, but of course, this is very early, early footage. And of course, Minecraft was a fantastic game, so I gotta put my faith in him. Well, these past two weeks have been crazy for games. I just got done reviewing Resident Evil 6, and despite people hating it for very good reasons, I can see some true game journalists having very good criticisms, as well as some commenters and stuff. I mean, it's not a perfect game, but I liked it myself. I think if you like Resident Evil, you should give it a try. It's not like the other ones, but whatever. Watch my review, read my review, etc, etc. Right now for review, I'm playing uh, Dishonored, which just released on Tuesday, and it is awesome. It's truly a cross between Assassin's Creed and Bioshock. It's a very cool world. It's kind of like this weird whaling town, steampunk kind of thing. Basically, you are betrayed. They think that you killed the queen, but it's a conspiracy plot to make you be the scapegoat and then you're trying to get revenge going over and killing people you also have these weird powers from this guy named the outsider which lets you summon a swarm of rats uh there's an ability called blink which makes you like vaporize and go other places basically transportation you can also stop time and all these things allow you to do super unique kills for example you could let a guard shoot stop time so the bullet's still in the air go around him pick him up put him in front of his own bullet, reanimate time, then he can shoot himself. It's amazing things like that that make this game super awesome, and I just really love it so far. So be sure to check out the review. Coming soon, I don't know when, next week, I don't know. It's a big game if you take your time. If not, it's kind of short if you just kind of rush through it and kill people but i'm trying to take my time and be kind of stealthy so the other game that should be coming tomorrow is code of princess now this game is a side scroller beat em up it kind of looks like for the 3ds it looks kind of cool uh there hasn't been that many reviews so i hope to tackle it soon and put mine out there for the ether now two, <laughs> two things one if you type in code of princess and google images this weird naked statue thing appears <laughs> it's very weird i'm I'm curious to see if this is anything representative of the game itself. If so, okay, sexy time, that's cool. If not, it's very weird. Also, compared to the Japanese box art, we kind of got ditched because, I don't know, we always get ditched for bad box art and stuff like that, and I just love how the Japanese box art is always better. For now, that's what I am enjoying with my games. For all the news I cover from these past two weeks, be sure to read my article, and of course, be sure to follow me on Twitter, on my Examiner page, on the YouTube page, and all that stuff. And be sure to join me again for the next reaction news, review, etc, etc. I'll be here until the day I die. I can't guarantee that, but we'll see. Subscribe.